All right, now we're going to look at the quotient property of square roots. And the quotient property just states that the square root of a quotient equals the quotient of square roots. So again, if we look at the first example with numbers, the square root of 3 fourths can be rewritten as the square root of 3 all over the square root of 4, which equals the square root of 3 all over the whole number 2. And one of the things you're going to learn about simplifying radicals is that a radical is in simplest radical form when two things are true. One, there's no perfect square number that's underneath the radical. And two, there's no radical in the denominator. So the first thing we're going to look at is this first example here. And we're just going to break this up. So the square root of 23 over 9. I'm going to rewrite as the square root of 23 all over the square root of 9. Now the square root of 23 cannot be simplified any further than that. But the square root of 9 is a whole number 3. And then that's our final answer. So now we're going to look at one with the variables. So I'm going to look at number 8 here. So I'm going to first break that up in the square root. The square root of 4x squared over the square root of 64. Now, if I know there's a perfect square underneath the radical, I don't believe I need to use the factor tree. So the square root of 4x squared is just 2x. The square of 64 is 8, and now I can reduce that because 2 and 4 can reduce. So this just becomes x over 4. And there's my final answer. All right. And the last type we're going to look at are cube roots. So we're not going to change anything. We're still going to do the factor tree. So we're going to do the factor tree for 54. So that's 2 and 27. That's 3 and 9. And that's 3 and 3. So I'm going to rewrite it as the cube root of 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. But now because there are triples, or we're doing cube root, we're looking for triples. So there are three threes. So the cube root of 3 to the third is just the whole number 3. So when I bring that out, whole number 3 on the outside, and then it's times the cube root of 2 underneath. And that's the answer to example 1. Now we're going to go ahead and just skip right to number 4. And again, we're going to break this up, first of all, into the cube root of 25, c to the 7th, d to the 3rd, all over the cube root of 64. Now, we're going to rewrite this. So this is the cube root of 25 is 5 times 5, and then we have c times 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 d times d times d. And then on the bottom, we have the cube root of, and if we do the factor tree for 64, we have 8 and 8, 4 and 2, 4 and 2, 2 and 2, and 2 and 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Oops, not too many there. So now, again, we will look for triples. So there's a triple, there's a triple, and there's a triple. So remember, only one factor from each of those sets comes to the outside. So that would be c squared d, and then step left underneath the radical would be 25c all over. Here's a pair, and here's a pair. So then 2 times 2 on the outside would be the whole number 4, and there's your final answer. So again, when you're doing cube roots, you're going to do the factor tree, and you're going to write out the variables, raised to the power, and you're going to look for triples. Now, if it was to the fourth root, we'd look for groups of four. So 